Hey, I was uh, experiencing a lot of popping and crackle when recording with my Focusrite Scarlett Solo 3rd Gen audio interface. Um, I'm using it with a Rode pod mic and a uh, Triton Fethead preamp filter. Obviously, other than making sure cables are physically connected, uh, I changed a number of settings within Windows um, that seem to kind of get things cooperating. So obviously, make sure your drivers and firmware and everything are up to date. Um, I did see some Reddit posts referencing some older drivers. I was I did try a couple of those. I didn't have much luck with them. Your experience may be different. I'm using the latest ones as of uh, January 2nd, 2024. And as you can hear, this doesn't appear to have any popping or crackle in it. Odds are anything you might hear are just because I'm not in a soundproof recording booth. I'm in a noisy computer room with computers running, fans, so, you know, whatever. Anyway, what I did to actually get this working how I want it. In this setting right here, I set the sample rate to 44,100 hertz. In addition, I changed the buffer size to 192. There's no perfect number for the buffer. Um, it defaults to 128. If you increase it from there, it's supposed to reduce the odds of you experiencing distortion. But if you increase it too much, then there's going to be latency issues, so you might need to play with this value a little bit but the sample rate change i think is the biggest uh setting here that makes a difference in addition to that uh, if you right click on the speaker icon and open the sound settings and go to sound control panel that's going to open a new window and on the recording tab Find your uh, Focusrite device and go to Properties, Advanced, and set this to match what you changed in that other Focusrite window. Uh, so again, it's going to be 44,100 hertz. Um, and after you change that and hit OK, it might kind of blip for a minute. Um, mine, mine seemed to mute the output for a little bit uh, when I did it on the playback tab, which we're going to get to in a second. I don't know why it does it. It's not perfect, but it does come back. Um, worst case, you might need to reboot, but I mean, whatever. That's not the end of the world. Another setting that I did see recommended online was to uncheck this box. I haven't done so. Uh, and it doesn't seem to have, you know, it's obviously working without me removing that checkbox. So I left it checked on mine. You can try toggling that on yours if these other settings don't get you working. So anyway, I'm going to cancel out of this since I didn't change anything. Uh, what I was referencing earlier was the playback tab. If you're using uh, the Focusrite for your playback, you can go into properties on that as well and set the uh, sample rate here to match what we set before, 40, 44,100 hertz. And again, they online recommended removing this checkbox. I did not. It doesn't seem to make a difference for my setup. So I've already set this how I want it, so I'm going to cancel out of here. If you push the Windows key and R at the same time, the Run dialog will open. From there, type in devmgmt.msc, push Enter. That's going to open up a uh, new window, and you're going to want to scroll down to the Universal Serial Bus Controller section. Expand that, and then right-click on the first one, go to Properties, Power Management, uncheck this box. 
We don't want Windows trying to save power by turning off USB ports. Mine's already set how I want it, so I'm going to cancel out, but you would remove the checkbox, hit OK. And then you're going to want to do the same for each entry here. Some of them aren't going to, yeah, some of them aren't going to have the power management tab, and that's fine. Just go to the next one. Uh, so just go down the list and remove that from all of the entries here. Another thing we need to do. Hit Windows key and R again to open the run box and type power cfg.cpl. And that's going to bring you into here. Uh, set this to high performance and click on change plan settings. Here you're going to want to click on change advanced power settings. And in the window that opens, expand the USB settings section and disable this. This is uh, very similar to the other settings that you just changed in Device Manager. You're basically telling Windows not to power off the USB ports. Disable that, click OK. Uh, I'm going to cancel it because I didn't change it on mine. In addition to that, uh, there's a lot of talk online that with this being a USB 2.0 device, it should really be plugged into a USB 2.0 port. Um, I did physically move my cable into a USB 2.0 port on my motherboard. You, you can identify which ports are USB 2.0 uh, generally by the fact that they're black in color as opposed to blue or red. Um, but, you know, that, that might be motherboard specific. You may need to refer to documentation for your individual setup. I don't know whether or not that had a big impact on my setup. Uh, I think changing the sample rate to 44,100 was kind of the the winning combo for me, but I did move it anyway. Okay, and uh, one other thing you're going to want to do is uh, Again, hit the Windows key R to open the Run dialog box and type in sysdm.cpl. Hit Enter. Uh, that's going to open a new window, and um, you're going to want to click on the Advanced tab. From there, go to Settings. Go to Advanced. And this setting was recommended uh, from, I don't remember if it was Reddit or if it was on the Focusrite documentation, but uh, when you're recording, it's recommended to set this to background services. Uh, there's no reboot or anything. You can just click that, hit OK, and it's, it's set. Um, when you're done recording, you can flip it back to programs. Uh, I don't know that that made a huge difference for me, but it is set, so I'm not hearing any crackle in this recording, so it certainly didn't hurt anything. One other thing maybe worth mentioning is I'm doing these recordings with OBS, and, well, here, let me, I can just drag it over here. In OBS, um, I did see there was, again, I don't remember where I saw it now, but after you add your uh, device in here, you want to go into the settings, or the cog wheels down here, and you can see right here, I, I named it Rode Pod Mic, and I unchecked all these additional tracks. Um, recommendations were to just have one and two checked for the mic, in addition to having it set to mono, but that mono shouldn't matter, but unchecking these additional tracks is something that I did see mentioned. Uh, and the other thing that I did in here in the settings, if it's going to keep recording when I click this, is it still recording? Yes. So in here, I, uh, was it under audio? Yeah. So in here, I just made sure the sample rate matched what I set in all the other stuff. Um, 
I don't remember if this was the default setting or not, but it, it might be worth going in and checking what, whatever software you're using just to make sure it matches the sample rate you've set elsewhere. So that pretty much covers everything I did to get this working for me. Um, really, like I said earlier, I think the biggest thing was setting the uh, sample rate to 44,100 in the Focusrite device settings. Uh, all the stuff with fiddling with USB and power settings and whatnot, maybe that plays a part, but I mean, in my opinion, if you're making a USB device, it should work when you plug it into a USB port. You shouldn't have to do all this other nonsense. Um, if, if it's that finicky about power, then maybe it should just include its own AC adapter and not rely on USB to power it. Uh, but in any case, I, I digress. If any of these settings worked for you, uh, I think it's definitely worth mentioning in the comments just because, you know, I'm trying to help other people out. If something worked for you here, let other people know. Um, or if there's something else you did that I didn't cover, be sure to mention that as well. Be good to have this kind of ironed out for future people who are struggling with this. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching.